Hi everyone, it's Jennifer. Um, I'm going to try this video without my light and see how it works. Um, I might sound a little funny in this video. I woke up this morning with, I don't know if it's head cold or just allergies, or but it just felt like I hit a brick wall. And I've been sneezing and stuffed up and, and all that kind of sort, so I kind of sound <clears throat> a little off. So please excuse Excuse me, but um, I wanted to get this video done while I could. Um, I've been working on a challenge at Mini Album Scraps for um, stick pins, and the theme was Colors of the Butterfly. And I did a little research, and I found a butterfly called the Emperor Butterfly, and it's a purple and white, and it has light black in it. And so that's what I went with. Um, you had to do three sets of four and then a presentation piece. So, um, and then one of them had to have a dangle. So these are my four, oh, I'm in the camera, that I did. Excuse me. Let's see if it'll, it'll focus them. I'll show them to you real quick, one at a time. Um, and all the stick pins have the, the pearl topper, so. Uh, so here's the first one, and it's got a, I guess it'd be a bead cap. If it'll focus. I don't know if it's better with the paper or without. Hmm. Alright, for some reason that's gonna work. Okay. So bead cap and then this like smoky gray cracked crackled glass bead, another bead cap, um, a purple like square bead, and a little mini rose bead spacer, and a little tiny, which I wish you could see it better, but a little teeny tiny butterfly. There, I might be able to see a little bit better. Really, really, really pretty. And then a little tiny rose bead spacer. So that's the first one. The second one is this one. Um, it's got a crystal bead spacer and then this really pretty bead on top that's a purple color, but it's almost like, depending on the direction you look at it, the colors change. So, real pretty. And then another crystal bead spacer and then a darker purple bead, um, a butterfly, and then a pink crystal bead, and then a mini rose bead spacer so and this one's really really pretty it catches the light really well uh, then the next one is this one and it has a silver bead spacer and then this um, purple and white larger bead and then a bead cap and then a real light purple almost lavender um, metallic bead and then a bead spacer with crystal in it, and then, um, I want to say kind of a, uh, pinkish purple lavender kind of, um, crystal bead. And then this is the last one, which one of them had to have a dangle, so this is mine with a dangle. And I made my dangle short on purpose because I wanted the butterfly to, like, be right in front of the big bead. So, and then you turn it, and it's got a bead spacer, and then this square purple and white bead, and another bead spacer, and then this silver and, uh, like, crystal bead, and then another bead spacer, and then a real, real light, like, lavender crystal bead. So those are my four, um, stick pins, and then this is... My presentation piece, it's real simple, it's just a, um, a matchbook 
Uh, I got it. I saw, I watched many, many tutorials. I just kind of made my own. Excuse me, I'm really sorry. Um, so, to my size, and you know, I think, as far as I can tell, it's just like a basic matchbook. So, um, it's not embellished yet, but I want to show you this is, this is what it's going to look like. I used a uh, darker purple paper, and then this other um, paper right here, which I'm trying to remember what. I don't remember what brand it was, but it's a real pretty stack. And I just inked the edges and, you know, glued the the paper on and it's got glitter on it, so and I'll I'll embellish it with the you know, the stick pins just fit in there. They did earlier when I did it. Anyways, so you know, they just go in there. Um and then the other thing I'm going to show you is I got a roll of burlap ribbon at Dollar Tree. And so today I sat there and made some bows with it. And it's real cute actually. Excuse me, I'm really sorry. Um, but this is like one of the bigger ones that I made. And they're kind of flat, but I did that because... I'm going to be layering them or, you know, I'll be putting other stuff on them too. So I didn't want them so fat that, you know, but, you know, just a few, they're just real basic. There's the bigger ones. That's like the medium size one. And then there's like the, the little, and then I did a couple that the edges weren't folded. It was just like a frayed and they're really cute. And I've been just playing with them and you can kind of like, um, See, like I layered the frayed one underneath the regular one, the frayed one over the regular one, layer the two regular ones. I mean, and like I said, that's kind of the reason I kept them flatter, but um, I'll probably be putting them on here. Um, you know, I don't know there, I thought up there was kind of cute, just different. Um, I ordered some magnetic closures that I'm going to use for these, just so I know that they'll stay closed real well. But, um, you know, like I said, I'll be adding, adding stuff to them, like, um, you know, flowers and stuff and, uh, just, just different things to kind of make them pop. But, um, I thought they'd be really good just to make up a whole bunch and just have the embellishments. And I'm going to try when I can get back over to the Dollar Tree that I got them at, that I got the ribbon at, um. I'm going to try and grab a couple more rolls, especially in this just tan color because it's such a good neutral. And they also had like a mint green and a pink and then like a darker grass green. So I may get a few rolls of each of those just to have because it's actually really, really easy to work with. The edge of it's wired and it just moves um, really well. But um, anyways, that's it for today. Again, I'm sorry. It's kind of a cruddy video just because... I'm not feeling like myself today, but I wanted to get it done because I've been trying really hard to make sure I get my videos done before I send stuff off. So, uh, thank you for watching and I hope you're having a great day.